How to Stop Tunumbu Ezeo Kwesele. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. A former minister, R.B. Ezeo Kwesele, has said that citizens of Nigeria have collective power to stop politicians like a former governor of Lagos State, Bola Metunumbu, from occupying the presidential seat. And of course we do. Who said we don't? They can only come out and say, I would want to. This is my ambition. But who will make it happen? We. That is why I'm always coming out to say that, look, don't come out, don't believe that your vote does not count. Too. If you're in Nigeria and you think that your vote does not count, that is what they want you to believe. So that you're going to sit down why they allow people who are not even supposed to be deciding your faith in this country. We have had news of how people are brought from, you know, other countries, Nigeria and wherever, and they come to vote. They're given voters' card. Is it not a thing of shame that you, that is a Nigerian, is not standing up to vote for, you know, for your choice? For every time they do election and you don't come out to cast your vote sincerely, you're endorsing the wrong person as the president, as the governor, as the senator, as the House of Reps member, as the local, local government chairman, you are actually doing what is not right. Believe you me, you are part of a problem. So the only way we can do this is to make sure that come next election, we are actually not voting with our pockets infrastructure in thinking about how hungry we are, thinking of how our stomach is empty. We are voting for what? For Equity, justice, and fairness to come back to Nigeria because it has left for Nigeria for a very long time. It has. It has left Nigeria for a very long time. So it is time we vote them and uh, vote, um, vote for someone who has the power to bring justice, fairness, and equity back. And at the end of the day, I do not see that person reflecting in Tunobo. Even if you're not going, you, know, you are going to say, oh, yes, Tunobo has everything, but look, at, look around you. A lot of agitations are going here and there. It is only someone who loves Nigeria and who loves the unity of Nigeria and who stands as a patriot, a patriotic citizen of Nigeria will come out and say, look, yes, they not have um, ruled. The, which other which region has ruled? It is time for social and so people to come out and so let us, you know, allow them come out. Sincerely, it is only a patriotic citizen of Nigeria that will come out and ensure it happens. Okay. Let's find out more about what Obi Ekweseli is suggesting we do. The news in detail, please stay with us. On Tuesday, the 2019 presidential aspirant wondered if Nigerians are ready to collectively stop Tinumbu. He tweeted, It is citizens that have power to, it is citizens that have the power to collectively, collectively tell the likes of Mr. Bola Tinumbu that a citizen of lowest common denominator of political leaders doing turn by turn incompetent governance of Nigeria is over. The question is, are citizens ready to collectively do so? It is citizens that have the power to collectively tell the likes of Bola Serenbo that a citizen of lowest common denominator of political leaders doing turn by turn incompetent governance of Nigeria is over. The question is, are citizens ready to, co to collectively do so? And the question will be, Nigerians, are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready to come out? Are you ready to come out and ensure that you cast your vote for the competent person? Are you ready and you are so uncomfortable with the way things are going? Then you get up and get your PVC. And in getting your PVC, you vote for someone. And in voting for someone, ensure that you are not leaving your house with an empty stomach that day. If you don't have food, drink water. Don't say, ah, you went there and then you were hungry. And no, it is not an excuse. Anytime you're going to cast your votes, please, if you are someone who has children, look at the children. Will you be proud to tell them, so, 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 time, I voted for so, 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 person, even if the person did not become the president. Let it be that I did not vote for Dimo, so that you did not vote for this man that is causing, you know, that is, that is, that is this administration that is wreaking of bad governance and all. You did not vote for them. So who did you vote for? Because if you tell them that I did not vote, they'll say, ah, you, you endorsed him. Children of this generation are smart. Think about your children. And if you're someone who thinks, oh, I'm benefiting from the government, please let me say something to you. Let me say something to you. Are your friends benefiting from this administration? Are your relatives benefiting? 
let me tell you that if you're the only person who is actually doing well among your peers, among your people, you're actually not doing well at all. Because of course, they have their needs to attend to. They have themselves to fend for. So why not vote for someone who we are going to put our hands together, both citizens and no, no, you know, the governments are like, and make Nigeria better. So that everybody will be doing well for themselves. Nobody will need to come out and say, ah, big bro, so please oh, help me, I beg, help me, I define money where I go use a uh, start business. No. If Nigeria is better, your business will thrive. If Nigeria is better, your uncle's career, he's going to be promoted when he's supposed to be promoted. If Nigeria is fair, of course, everybody will live in like a king. Then everybody, anybody who now wants to be ah, me, oh, me, I don't want to be a king. I want to be a servant. Eh, you'll be a better servant. That is what we, are, we want. Not someone, not in Nigeria where some people will be the masters, then some will be the, the slaves. And it is not that like those who are slaves want to be. They are being it because they don't have an option. We don't, we are not going to, that, that position don't tire everybody. Let me switch. It is very tiresome. Nigerians are tired of it. Now, vent, how are you going to vent? Vent as in, vent with your PVC. Make sure you pick, and this time is not um, um, as usual, business as usual, going out and casting your vote just because, um, okay, they marketed this person. Let me tell you, as I've been saying before, that even a bad product that has a good marketing funnel will sell more. What I need to do is, what we need to do as Nigerians is to go back. Who and who is, okay, this person is coming out for the presidency, that person is coming out for the presidency, okay. Let's see, this person has been in the position, how has he impacted? Has he impacted well? Has he done well? What is the people around him saying? How has he bettered that position now? Is he standing up?